Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Tarot Map. I wanted to make a video to share one new passion of mine that is a continuing, continuing passion. Um, I have been interested in smell and essential oils and you know natural kind of way of smelling rather than buying artificial perfumes um, for a long time. I have just found some of the books that I brought with me from Australia when I used to live there many years ago and um, they were all about essential oils and aromatherapy and this passion renewed when I went to Australia this time and um, I want to share with you what I purchased there and I got so inspired by all this stuff that I decided to create my own things for myself so I've made um, they are just being charged now but I've made yesterday uh, some little you know like body kind of spray it can be face spray as well it's got um, essential oils of so um, polo santo and frankincense and cinnamon leaf uh, orange and little bit of lemon and even a tiny little drop of lemongrass and it smells very refreshing and it smells powerfully of Polo Santo which I love so this was just like a first attempt I got Palo Santo oil and in general I got a lot of oils <laughs> along the way not just all now but uh, let's go back to Australia so in Australia if you're in Sydney at Bondi markets you can get this Toby and Rosie it's a beautiful couple of you know young people making some natural stuff so this is a patchouli spice uh, deodorant so you can just like spray it you know on yourself Oh, it smells so good in my house now if you guys, guys want to come and this one has um, some hydrosols made from flowers so that's the water which is um, like left over from um, uh, making essential oil so essential oil goes into one container and then the water that gets left from the plant is a hydrosol uh, so they also smell beautifully and um, this is uh, this have mentha like peppermint lemon and chamomile hydrosols and it's got some essential oils of patchouli orange and clove and they even added a little bit of bicarb soda so yeah that's interesting but it smells lovely and because patchouli is a base note and clove oil is a base note oil so they last quite a long time and um, not everybody's a love a lover of patchouli it's a very required uh, kind of woody uh, smell so you might not be a fan of it but if you do like it it's beautiful and then I have a friend in nature's energy so she took me to her shop where she works um, and I purchased there this beautiful sprays also so this one is a meditation spray and that's chamomile infused water, lavender infused water, lang lang water and then oils of patchouli, lang lang sweet orange frankincense, clear sage, thyme and vetiver and this one is also very kind of grounding and um, with frankincense and vetiver um, and patchouli also very meditative because they grounding oils beautiful oils and I'm not so much of a flower girl but I I don't know I love every oil but right now my face goes into really woody um, moss smelling foresty you know vetiver type of oils it's my favorite I also purchased from the same shop nature's energy so that's Australian brand um, Aura Cleanse Spray and this one comes with Palo Santo, Peru Balsam and Lang Lang and Bergamot Whew, this one is so beautiful that's why I fell in love with Palo Santo oil and I just purchased one you know I know some of these trees are endangered species so you have to be really careful where you buy your oils from do some research on that don't just like um, and also 
disclaimer, essential oils are very powerful. So some people, I had this discussion on Instagram as well. I know that for some people it's a big no. Um, so, you know, be smart for yourself. Like for me, they work perfectly. I don't get any rashes. I can apply they, uh, them quite liberally on my skin. But um, just try first, dilute the oil, see how you personally respond to them because they are powerful very concentrated natural substances and natural meaning that they good for you but anything good in overdose can really uh, be poisonous or create some problems for you so be mindful about it and be smart and just um, work with your body how your body reacts to it that's my only advice um, from another amazing brand in Australia, Perfect Potion. I also have friends there because I used to work for Tree of Life in Australia and next to our shop there used to be Perfect Potion shop. So hello all the girls from Perfect Potion and these guys make amazing stuff. So this is like outdoor body spray for natural insect repellent and it just smells like Australian bush and also like citronella but yeah, it's a natural mosquito repellent and they create different like aromatherapeutic perfumes and sprays and body sprays very beautifully made so this is Green Goddess which I got from them and they also make uh, this amazing creams so this is a replenish serum uh, which smells beautifully like herbal and um, it also comes with essential oils and all the different um, natural ingredients so this one is very kind of uh, good to apply in the morning or in the evening and this is a tinted moisturizer which is you know like um, I sometimes get discoloration on my face so this one just equals your skin color so I haven't actually used this one yet, so I will see how it goes, but um, the Replenish Serum is beautiful and I was using it while I was away, you know, in Thailand and the sun was very powerful. Another one which I want to mention from Australia is, I got this one at Nimbin, uh, so this is, uh, I think, maybe it's still in New South Wales, isn't it? But it's like the border New South Wales and Queensland, so it's up north from Sydney. And uh, it's called Nimbin Homeopathics. I don't know if they sell it online because Nimbin is a very small, like kind of hippie town. Uh, but this rose cinnamon moisturizer, I bought it at the tourist information place in Nimbin. And I like saw the lady who sells and makes those. And um, this comes with organic rose hips, vitamin E, essential oils, calendula and marshmallow. And it smells gorgeous. I actually added also some essential oil to it. It's nearly finished now. But it was really nice moisturizer, very kind of soothing. And also in Australia, they make this bush flower uh, range uh, of cosmetics, creams, and also um, exfoliants and body uh, lotions and stuff. So it's from the bush flower. Uh, and comes with actually all these bush flowers added to the cream, which I loved, you know, the idea. I love using bush flowers and the bush flowers, Australian bush flower cards are one of my favorites to use also for emotional based readings. And I just love the, you know, body love, love your body, love your soul love who you are. It's all this positive stuff, affirmations that you can put on the package. But you know, that also goes into the product energetically. I strongly believe in it. So this, I haven't even opened this one yet, but um, let's just the moisturizer, daily essence moisturizer. Love system. And in Thailand, um, from the Lemongrass house, I bought this cool, so this is the Aromatic Room and Pillow Spray, but I actually use it um, like on my clothes. It's just lavender infusion, some alcohol and sandalwood essential oil, and it smells amazing of sandalwood. So sandalwood essential oils are very expensive, um, but I think when they, you know, add them to like pillow sprays and stuff you can get the smell i also purchased the body balm with the sandalwood and all together i'm oh guys i'm like crazy now 
<laughs> I smell like my house smells, you know, this is my and uh, this is my nebulizer also, so I also diffuse essential oils and this one comes from Organic Aromas and it just um, it works without water and without heat so you really get the best of your essential oil so basically what you do, you just I'll just take a little bergamot oil so you just take um, your essential oil and you basically just put a few drops so let's take some bergamot oil and let's take some we take a few jasmine drops I bought this jasmine oil in Thailand as well and jasmine is quite expensive but this one smells pretty good and it wasn't expensive uh, but it's 100% essential oil and maybe let's put two drops of grapefruit. It's also a Thai brand, Putavan um, or Putavan, I don't know how to pronounce it. But I purchased a few oils from them and they're really cool. Okay, so when we have this, you put your essential oils in and I like to just swirl it around a little bit so they mix together and then this is the little kind of lid that goes on and then you switch it on and I don't know if you can see it or oh, you can maybe see it but yeah there's this steam coming out of the nebulizer so basically when you diffuse it in your house this is a pure essential oils uh, oil being diffused and you don't need any water and you don't need any heat that can destroy the component compounds in essential oil but the smell that comes out it's really beautiful and by the way if any of you ever wanted to get that um, <laughs> the cable is too short get that nebulizer I would appreciate it if you purchase this from the link which I provide below because then I receive 20 20 dollars I think and then I can purchase something from them myself so that's just this referral kind of program I'm not you know working for organic aromas I bought my nebulizer myself but they have this program that if you refer a friend and they purchase the nebulizer from the link that you they send me then um, and I get some money which I can spend in the shop obviously not anywhere else and um, so that's what I wanted to show you and then also some um, I got lucky enough to get the beautiful essential oils on oil on frankincense from my friend that brought, uh, brought it from India I um, purchased a few amazing oils, the combinations for Demeter and Hecate uh, from Perfect Potions in Australia as well from my friend and um, in Thailand I also bought a few of those uh, essential oils because they weren't very expensive they were like you know not even ten dollars I think less than ten dollars some some of them maybe you know around 20 bucks depends which one jasmine was a bit more expensive around maybe fifteen dollars but all of these guys uh, cinnamon leaf lemon and stuff they were you know were quite cheap uh, but really good quality um, for the price so maybe not the quality of the Young Living, but a pretty good quality, much better than the oils I can get in Poland. And so yes, I purchased some of the essential oils and I also uh, got, uh, while I was away in Poland, I purchased some of the little duck bottles with sprays. I purchased some glycerin and some vitamin A, E and some hilary, like the acid thing you can add to like a face or facial spray and I want to make the room sprays or uh, sprays that you can use on your body that's all for myself don't <laughs> unless it's amazing and I decide to you know go for it and but uh, this is definitely not my intention my intention is that 
I can't find this stuff in Poland so I thought you know I'm not going to go to Australia for a very long time so rather than not have it I'm just going to make myself ones that I love and because I love very herby smells then um, it's quite difficult to purchase because people seem to make a lot of flowery scents and stuff like this so you know I'm just going to experiment and that's exciting uh, I wanted to show you also a few books that I have on aromatherapy just to the share with you. first one it's the Romance Love, Sex and Nature's Essential Oil. So it's by this very famous person, Valerie Ann War Warwood. She wrote the... Um, what did she write? The Fragrant Pharmacy and the Fragrant Havens. So this one... Um, see, this, all my books are from Australia, so that's a long time ago when I bought them. Um, so basically... So basically here you get um, just an idea of how to do a massage, like sensual massage. Also some uh, ideas about cleansing, purifying oils, um, the cycle of life. So all different cycles, premenstrual, ten premenstrual, premenstrual tension, which oils help and stuff like that. So this is quite interesting and then uh, the other one is the fragrant havens so that's the lady from the fragrant pharmacy the spiritual dimension of fragrance and aromatherapy so this one um has some um chakras work added and she was doing some you know um photos of energy and smelling the oils um what else do we have here I haven't you know read these books fully so we have like blending with prayer and affirmation and making the spiritual connection anointing so it's from the very spiritual perspective which I enjoy and then I also have this complete guide to aromatherapy by Salvatore Battaglia and that's the guy who um, is connected to perfect potion and that was actually uh, first published in Australia by Perfect Potion and I bought it obviously in my favorite Gertrude and Alice bookstore in Bondi Beach where I used to live for all $14.50 <laughs> a long time ago so here we have everything on aromatherapy from like chemical compounds and um, description of oils and stuff like that so it's a very interesting book but quite you know extensive and full on so there is just something which can which you can also maybe I just love to mix everything with tarot so I have a few decks um, uh, that I like to work with um, when it comes to smell and I'm going to share those with you so I'm just going to share three decks because you know you can use probably any deck you want but um, the Orasoma, Orasoma Taro, um, the bottles are also made from, um, they're not made from essential oils, but they have infused different plants and crystals and stuff in them. And I think any of the colorful deck can be used uh, with association of smell and how that smell makes you feel so orasoma deck is one of those that I often use um, and that can be maybe you know I can pull a bottle of oil and say like uh, how is this oil going to influence me or how can I play or uh, work with a specific oil and just ask the cards you know or uh, how can I use it in a ritual or uh, what will this oil bring in into my life. Another deck that can be used um, here are this bush flower essences card. So anything with flowers, anything uh, like herbal decks, like you know the um, nature spirit tarot or the tree angel oracle, anywhere when you can get an intuitive hit of a color or um, yeah, the scent kind of, you know how scent makes you just puts you back into a memory land because our body memory is so affected by smell um, and then another deck that also I like to use is the Lioness Oracle Tarot 
first of all because it's got all these beautiful roses and second of all because it's very colorful and um, it's very kind of like nature plant life like you know it's kind of by looking at it you kind of feel like you can smell it so uh, this deck also it's quite cool for playing uh, with essential oils um, in mind obviously don't put essential oils on your cards <laughs> um, and I think that's it for all the stuff that I wanted to share with you and I hope it is inspiring I have kind of redone my space put some flowers arranged my skulls cleaned everything sprayed stuff around it smells amazing in my house seriously you guys are all invited if you're ever in Poland contact me I'd love to meet up and um, yeah have a good day we have public holidays in Poland now so I'm just going to enjoy it, go for a walk, hang out with some friends and we go for a short trip to the lake. I swam in the lake yesterday, first time, and the water is already warm, so it's cool. Thank you for watching, bye!